my name is Saksham Dixit and this is my channel Pentest Diary. So this is a continuation of the same series for the Solidity uh, series which I have started with this. This is a lecture number 2 and in this I just want to get it explain you about the smart contract compiler. Uh, what are the components coming under that section for it okay so first of all we just talking about the what is smart contract so as i told you last time also smart contract is a bunch of codes functions instructions is just get it combined and make it a code that we call it a smart contract where we have a lot of instructions on the we just guided that what actually we wanted over there itself that was a combination of all those things we call it as a smart contract now i'll show you that what are the components coming under this category for it so as you can see my screen smart contract this is one of the thing and in in this after that it's coming under the category of the solidity compiler where we actually deploying our code and we just trying to get it compiled that and then after that only we can get it executed and get the results what we are looking for it so once we have deployed that uh, our code we just make it that and get it run compiled everything done then after that two things are get it clear created over there one is abi and one is a byte code and after the byte code only the ethereum blockchain is over there itself okay so now i'll tell you that uh, i'll show you that also about uh, how exactly it looks like so this is the remix id which i have shown you in my last video also so this is a code which is a simple code just forget about the code right now from the next video itself i'll be explaining you about all these sections for it right now i'm just making that stuff about it like what exactly the compiler is it how exactly it's working then we go with the code itself so from the next video onwards you will be able to understand these components appropriately okay so now we'll go ahead further with that once we can write the code over here itself in solidity we simply have to compile it once we compile it we can able to click these are the two options which we can see it over here itself okay so there is one in the abi and one is a byte code i'll explain you about individually what exactly the abi is what is the byte code okay so once if i'll just click on the byte code and i'll try to open wait a minute let me try to open a notepad and i'll paste it okay so you can see this is the content of abi okay I'll explain you about it, why we are seeing this and what actually the mean of ABI. Okay, if I'll just flush away all the content and go for the byte code also so that you can see like uh, how the content looks like for the byte code also. Let me put it aside and copy it, paste it the byte code also. So the byte code over here it's in a hexadecimal format. Okay, this is the demonstration purpose. I'll just show you the stuffs about it. Now I'll let you know about it. What exactly the ABI is? So ABI, if I'm uh, tell you in a general way, ABI contains the function used in a smart contract. So if anyone asks you what actually the content present in ABI, ABI having a functions, whatever the functions contain it, it's coming under used in smart contract. So whatever the function used in a smart contract, it's coming under the ABI that we call it as an ABI. So if I'm talking about the uh, theory point of view, the definition for it. So ABI stands for the application binary interface that we call it as ABI is an interpreter that facilitates communication with the EVM bytecode. Okay, so EVM, you are already aware about it and bytecode, I'll just explain you just after this ABI. Okay, so this is ABI. So if you're talking about the straightforward stuff, what exactly is ABI? ABI contains the functions used in the smart contract. That is a straightforward one-liner definition of the ABI. Okay, now I'll already show you that uh, what exactly how the ABI looks like that I'm not explaining once again. Now we're talking about the byte code. What exactly the byte code is? We are even at the time of the ABI definition, we are talking about the byte code over there, EVM. EVM integration with the byte code. So what is the byte code? So byte code is the information that a solidity codes get translated into. It contains instructions to the computer in binary bytes. Byte code is generally compact numeric codes, constants and other piece of information. So basically whatever the code you are writing over there itself byte code having that information to get the computer understand the compiler understand make that 
um, binary code to be get it translated and make that understand to the system itself so that the desired output we can get it to make that appropriate steps to be in place we require the byte code so ABI having the functions which is used in smart content byte code is the information that solidity codes get translated into to get the instruction to the computer in binary format okay that we call it as a byte code now if we're talking about the opcode there is one another term which we call it as opcode it's instructions followed by the evm so whatever the instructions we are giving in our smart contract it will be followed by the evm and that we call it as a opcode so there is another term after the byte code um, uh, even i'll just show you that how to get that opcode also so over here itself if you go to ethereum scan.io so over here itself you simply have to go to opcode hyphen tool over here you simply have to put the same section like whatever that i'm getting it uh, the same thing which i'm getting as a byte code i'll simply have to copy it paste it over here and then i'll try to click submit so you decode it to the op code okay so this is the byte code and this is the op code which we are getting it over here itself i'll show you that what exactly the terms of these things okay so now let me show you that what exactly it means about it so this is the url i'll put it in the description section of this video you can read this content appropriately and what actually is mean like each and every section of it how exactly it means accordingly is trying to get it translate and these are the instructions okay so normally you can't able to read that so that was the reason these are the instructions you can see that appropriately what are the actual purpose uh, purpose of that instruction itself so everything is getting explained over here in this github repository okay so now before closing this video itself i'll just want to get it highlight few points over there itself contract bytecode is public in readable form so what it means the contract bytecode is always be available on public but in a readable format that is one thing contract does not have to be in public so whatever the smart contract you're writing it you're not supposed to publish expose that to the internet so, so no one can see your smart contract only the byte code the person can see it what are the instructions over there itself so by that they can have and that is also in a readable format okay now talking about the byte code byte code should not it is immutable so that's straightforward as smart contract whatever that we are writing it it's immutable immutable content code i can say that when i'm deploying it, it's immutable if i want to deploy once again it's a new chain i'll just created over there itself so that's a byte code which is generated once after getting deployed the code that's the reason behind it byte code is immutable now abi act as a bridge between the applications and the smart contract so that i told you about it that functions whatever the functions coming under the smart content that's a part of the abi itself so that it means it's creating as a bridge between the application and the smart contract okay so the application which you have at the front side and the whatever the logic you're writing is smart contract so abi is just mediating in between of it to make a bridge in between of the application and the smart contract now if we're talking about the last thing abi and the byte code cannot gen uh, generate without source code so if you don't put any code source code from your side as a solidity file dot solidity file and you want to generate abi and byte code that's not possible so that's a straightforward thing we require the smart contract to be in place on the, on the remix id or whatever that compiler you're using it you simply have to deploy then only you can get that abi or you can get the byte code so these are the stuffs i just want to get it covered in this video itself so if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you so much once again take care bye bye